Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video I've got a Lego haul for you. Um, this will be mainly stuff from uh, December and January. As you can tell I'm still suffering with this throat. Um, but it does seem to be, although it sounds worse today, it actually feels a lot better. I don't know how that works but yeah. So um, we've uh, got a lot to get through so I'm just going to get straight on with it. <coughs> I will try and tell you what I paid and stuff like that and what I kind of feel that the set will do over the span of maybe one or two years as well. So yeah, without further ado, we shall get straight on with it. So first off, I got three more of uh, Lego Brickheads for Beast. The only reason I did this is because I've got quite a few of these Lego Brickheads, so you know I don't really want to be investing in many more of them. But the only reason I got three of those was because they were on, I believe it was a 30% discount on Lego Shop at Home. Um, so I thought, while I was grabbing some other stuff, I thought I may as well grab those. So um, yeah, put them there, they're quite nice, I like them. And uh, in terms of what they'll do, I'm not too sure, but um, I believe they're still available at the Lego Shop at Home. I'd have to double check that. They are going to retire very soon. But in terms of on Amazon, there's FBA offers coming in at 15 quid. And I also believe on eBay, they're selling around retail price, maybe even slightly above. So it is a good sign. I'm not, as I say, I'm not too sure what we're going to do. It's more of a speculative investment. But I do think, you know, within two years, they could be up there at 25 quid, something like that. So, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. You know, at seven quid, I'm going to take a punt on them and see what happens with the set. And it's always nice to um, have that excitement of the ride and watching um, the value increase or if, if it does decrease. But I do feel pretty confident on those brickheads. Although they are still more of a speculative investment. So, next one. Um, something I actually made a mistake on. I bought these. I bought 10 of these um, 75878. And for whatever reason, I looked at these on Amazon. And I could see FBA offers coming in quite high, like over 20 quid. But then I bought them. And when they arrived, I looked at Amazon again. And suddenly... Um, the FBA offers were coming in, uh, well, sorry, Amazon themselves were selling them for twelve ninety seven, And I looked at a Lego shop at home for these, and I mu what I must have done was looked at a different set, and um, one that was very, very similar looking to this, obviously a Speed Champion set like this one. And I thought these had been retired, or I thought these were near retirement. And when I looked in, uh, on Amazon, as I say, they were going for much more. But, obviously, I must have made a mistake, and um, I would, must have been looking at a different set. Um, and, yeah, I've ended up buying 10 of these for retail price, and they're not retired yet. I'm going to have to wait till they retire, uh, which will be in, like, June, July, that, that sort of time. I mean, I could return the set. I could do that, but I'm thinking to myself, I like Speed Champions anyway. I know they're going to make it a good investment. I just have to wait a little bit longer. So, that was just a mistake that I made, really, but still... In, in the long term, it's still going to be a great play. I love investing in speed champions. In terms of what they're going to do over time, I think you could see them easy, 35, 40 quid within two years. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that anyway. You know, it's not a, a mistake in terms of the actual purchase. It's still a decent purchase. But, as I say, I am just going to have to wait because I didn't buy them as close to retirement as I would have liked to. So, I got 10 of them. I don't know where they all are in the pile because the pile's kind of messed up a little bit, but they'll be around, so I'll, I'll put all these here. Uh, there is no way we're going to have enough space today. We're going to struggle for space quite a lot, so, um, yeah. I'm just going to kind of have to do what I can with stacking them, and if it gets, like, really overwhelming, then so be it. Right, so I got another 10 of the Speed Champions... 75871, the Ford Mustang GT. I've talked about this so much, and uh, I have, I believe I have 15 of these now. I've got five one other month, and I've got 10. I got 10 in December, and I believe these have retired now. Uh, on Amazon, I'm not sure of the price, but I believe FBA offers were coming in quite high, about 19, 20 quid, something like that. So already we're selling for well above retail price. And yeah, I'm quite happy on these. Again, I feel like we're going to do similar to those ones. 
in the sort of the two year time frame, one to two year time frame. So yeah, quite happy with those. I'll have to double check whether they have uh, retired or not yet, but I think those ones have actually retired by now. So yeah, um, so I've got those. So I'm gonna put these up here. I'll see if I can't stack them. Uh, I don't wanna go too high or else some things are gonna fall. So uh, we'll put all these here. I'll try, and, I'll try and move along and be a bit quicker with my stacking as well. Oh, there's no more there. Where have the other ones gone? Oh, there they are. Um, so, yeah, there should be ten of these. I don't know. I'm thinking there is. Um, that's eight. Yeah, there's ten. There's ten. There. Right, we're already getting a bit crazy. Oh, that's another one of the, uh, the other one of those ones. So, put that there as well. Um, right, what should we start on next? Oh, I just got this. It was uh, like 20% off in my local Sainsbury's. I would have got more, but there was none on, no more on the shelf. Um, yeah, this, well, actually, I don't know whether Amazon have come back in stock on this, but this, I think we did actually. Yeah, no, Amazon came back in stock on this, but before Amazon, when Amazon was out of stock, this was selling for like 26 quid. It was FBA offers for 26 quid, so... Um, I don't know, I thought I'd, I thought I'd uh, take a chance on that one. I know it's a battle pack, it was only 20% off. You know, really, as I've always said, I like battle packs for a little bit more than 20% off. But I do think that could be quite a good one. You know, some of these Rogue, rogue One sets um, in, intrigue me a little bit from, from what's been happening when Amazon have gone out of stock. When Amazon have gone out of stock, the prices jump significantly up. Now, if Amazon goes out of stock of... A Lego set that maybe isn't going to do so well in the, the aftermarket, then the price wouldn't jump up so much. So that's what intrigued me on these. So yeah, I just bought one of them. As I say, I would have got more if there was more on the shelf, but we'll see what happens to that. That's interesting. Now, I got um, basically it was two for 20 quid on these, but I was buying one for my auntie for Christmas because she likes building me speed champions. Um, so I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just keep the other one as an investment. So, yeah, that's kind of why I got that. It's not near retirement. I think this is going to stay out for another six months or so yet. So I just got it because I was because uh, I was getting her present. But, yeah, so that's that one, another Speed Champions one. You'll see also in this haul I've gone really heavy on Speed Champions, which now I'm looking at it, I'm feeling I need a bit more diversification. So I am going to be trying to diversify a little bit next year. Uh, not next year, next month even. Um, so yeah, Lego Friends, 41306. This was just on a discount in my local Sainsbury's. Again, there was only one on the shelf, um, but I saw it was already retired and I thought, I'll just grab it because it's on a discount. I don't suppose it's going to be mega, mega money, but I'll hold it for a bit and see what it does. Um, not really my usual theme to go for, Lego Friends. I'm not as, um, you know, I'm not as knowledgeable on what LEGO Friends is going to do as an investment um, compared to other sets, specifically like Speed Champions. Um, well, yeah, I thought I'd grab it while I was in there. I mean, this was while I was buying that Star Wars one, so, yeah, I thought I'd grab that one. I was just looking at all the discount LEGO and thinking, right, like, what should I buy? And uh, that one tweaked my, uh, piqued my interest. Um, LEGO Star Wars 75117, Kylo Ren. I got this in my local, um, oh, where, WH Smith. And I got this for, I believe, 12 quid. And I got a Stormtrooper, not a Stormtrooper. What was it? Commander Cody. I got Commander Cody for 12 quid. I believe this is already retired, and I think I could probably sell this for decent money already. I think about 25 quid, something like that. So, yeah, I was quite happy to grab that from my local WH Smith. We'll see what it does in a year or so. I don't think, to be honest, I don't think these, these buildable figures, ones like this, are maybe, I don't think I'm going to go above, like, 35, 40 quid. But still, I think there's some decent money in that if I hold it for a little bit. There's always, what I find on LEGO sets, there's always, like, a cap to what people are will it be being prepared to pay, you know, what people are willing to pay. Less so on the bigger sets. The bigger sets can kind of go like into the thousands. But with the smaller sets, generally there's like a, a price level where people say, you know, people say, oh no, I'm not going to pay that anymore. And therefore the price stays at that level and doesn't generally go much above that. So yeah, I don't know with that one, but we'll see on it. 
Um, don't know whether I've shown these before or not. So I thought I'd just show these. I bought these like months ago, but I don't know whether I've shown them. I bought them for £16.66 each, which I believe was 45% off, which is incredibly good for a Speed champion set. 7584 uh, Chevrolet Cam Camaro Drag Race. Um, yeah, I think these are going to do well. I think you're going to see these at about 50 quid within a year or maybe within two years, but I think even probably about a year. Um, I don't know whether these have retired yet or not. Um, I have a feeling they might be close to retirement, but I don't know whether they've actually retired yet. But yeah, for £16.66, you know, 45% off retail, you can't really lose with something like that. So I bought two of them and I'm, I'm really happy with that as an investment. Very, very highly confident on this one as well. So yeah, quite happy with those. Something I took another bit of a speculative punt on was these uh, Lego architecture sets, uh, Berlin, actually this one is. Uh, this was, I think this was half off in the Lego sale. If it wasn't 50%, it was definitely like 30%. Um, I'm trying to think now. I can't remember whether it was 30% or 50%, but 50%, Lego don't do sales at 50% hardly ever, so I can't see it being 50%, but I feel like it was... 35 quid down to £17.50, so that would be 50% off, but I don't know, it's either 30% or 50%. Anyway, I just grabbed, I grabbed two of these, because I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to take a punt on these and see, I want to see what these architecture sets do, I want to track them, I want to know more about the architecture theme in terms of as an investment, so yeah, I got them. And I think that at whatever it was discount, like 30% or 50%, even at 30% discount, I've got a good leeway there. I've got a good cushion, uh, even if you don't do much uh, in the in the aftermarket, in the secondary market, really. So, yeah, quite happy with them. I've built a few of the architecture sets myself. I do like them, actually. Um, and they're a bit more uh, adult, I would say. You know, not necessarily adult in that way, but, you know, they're a bit more... Um, they're just... More, for more um, adult builders, you know, they're less childish and things like that. And they're quite nice sets, you know, I do like them. And you always get a lovely instruction book with them, really, really nicely, professionally done. Um, I got these, these were on the Lego sale at, I believe, 30% off again. Um, so this was 41308. Um, I don't know what this one's called. It's a Stephanie set from Friends. Um, these are already selling on Amazon for like 17, 18 quid. I got these for, for £6.38, if I can even speak, £6.29, that's what I was meant to say, each, and I got seven of those, don't ask me why I got seven, that's a bit of a random number, but it, I, what I normally do is I try and get Lego sets um, to try and get up to my free gift, and then I might set myself like a... Uh, a psychological number, so like I'll say to myself, right, in this Lego order, I'm going to do £100, or I'm going to do £200, or I'm going to do 150 So I always set myself like a round number to go up to, and then once I get close to that number, I'll say, right, I'll do another order. So, um, yeah, that must have been why I got seven, because it was kind of working out to that round number. Um, but yeah, so I got, uh, how many of these did I get? Seven, yeah, seven of those, yeah, so... Quite happy with those. Um, as I say, there's pretty much profit in it now, so I'm not worried on those. Um, we'll see if they go much higher um, in the next year or so. But, you know, a set like this, I don't think it's going to go much higher. Maybe like 25, something like that. But I can't see it going like mega, mega high. high. You, it could go higher. You know, as I say, I'm not as clued up on these friend sets as an investment as other sets. But... I don't think it's going to go tons higher. Um, I got a bell because uh, I've not had, I've not got one of these brick heads. Um, that was six ninety nine again in the Lego sale. You can tell I've been buying quite a lot of stuff from the Lego sale last month. Um, so yeah, I got um, seven five eight seven seven. Another speed champions. Now these aren't retiring soon. I broke my uh, rule of thumb, and this wasn't a mistake. I actually bought these knowing full well that these aren't retiring soon, unlike the other speed champions that I talked about. But, um, I did it with good reason, because there was good indicators showing on Amazon. 
Um, the, at the current time, there was no FBA offers. There's now two FBA offers. But at the current time, there was no FBA offers and Amazon was out of stock. Now, I was, I was full well aware that Amazon would come back in stock and that's exactly what they did. But the price did spike when Amazon went out of stock. And I did track that. And there was no FBA offers at the time. Even though Amazon was out of stock, it was all merchant fulfilled offers. There's no FBA offers. And now Amazon have come back in stock and a couple of FBA, uh, excuse me, a couple of FBA offers have come in. Uh, the FBA offers are coming in at £22, which is about 10, 9 10 pounds above retail. And Amazon obviously are coming in at retail price. So I wanted to grab my hands on five of these um, just early off. Just so I've got them in my possession in case uh, when they retire, I end up missing them. Um, so because sometimes I'm looking at so many different sets and I'm spending quite a bit of money on Lego that I either don't I don't want to spend any more on certain sets at the time. And then I have to miss out on them when we retire or um, I just literally miss them. I forget to track them and then they retire and then I've missed them. So I wanted to grab my hands on a few of them just because they were giving out the right signals to me. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll do pretty well in the secondary market. But it will be, I think, I think for these ones, maybe six months or so again before they retire properly. So yeah, we've got five of them there. Uh, we're getting through it, we're getting through it now, we've not got tons and tons more, but we are getting pretty crowded. The next set is going to make it really crowded. Now, you remember in my last LEGO haul, I got five of these for, uh, I think it was £17.50 or something off LEGO Shop at home. Um, and this time, I went into my local Asda, and it was just by chance, uh, they had uh, these on the shelf, reduced for 15 quid, which is really good reduction. Um, and... There was only five on the shelf, so I only grabbed five. I would have grabbed about, if I could, I would have grabbed about 15, 20, whatever. Um, you know, I had the money. I could have done it, but the, the, the sets just weren't there. So um, 15 quid each. I got five of these. Um, yeah, no brainer, really. You could sell these next, you know, I could sell these next quarter for the money. Or I could wait, you know, for two years or something, three years, and just watch them go up and go up and go up. So, yeah, no brainer that. The Christmas set seems to do uh, pretty well, you know, not just the seasonal advent calendars, but the other seasonal sets. And I've got some more seasonal sets to show you in a minute. Um, I'm going to try and put that up there, see if that holds. I don't even think we're going to have any room for, for some of this stuff. Oh, my God, this is going to fall. I don't like the look of this. Um... Right, um, I hope we've got just about enough room, but we'll see, we'll see. Right, there we go. Right, cool, we're sorted. Now, I got um, five of these, uh, 76044, and I bought these for £11.75. Well, actually, no, I didn't buy them for £11.75 because I had a 20% off discount voucher. So I bought five of these, and then they ended up costing me, with my 20% off, um, the total order, it ended up costing me £10.39 each um, and I looked on Amazon and they were doing well there were £24.99, uh, FBA offers were coming in at £24.99 so I was happy to buy these and I believe these were a retired set as well um, and I was happy to buy these at £11.75 thinking that maybe in a few months or maybe a year or so they'll go up a touch more, not loads more but a touch more so I was quite happy with what I was seeing on Amazon. I looked on Brickset and all my other usual different, um, you know, ways of going about looking at um, sets that are potential investments. And um, I thought to myself, yeah, I'm going to buy these. And a terrible, terrible thing happened that I couldn't predict. Um, well, maybe I could have predicted if I really looked into it, but it would it would be very hard to predict. I got them. Uh, I got them. I received them. And I looked on Amazon, because when I receive the sets, I always look on Amazon again. And Amazon have come in at 9 99 and they're back in stock at retail price. Now, I am pretty sure that these are retired sets, so I don't know whether Amazon have just got a large reserve of these or whatever. I, I don't know, but I am a bit annoyed at that. But longer to, looking longer term, I can't, I can't let that short term... Uh, blow knock me for the longer term potential on these sets. I'm a long term investor and I've got to look long term and less short term. So yeah, got these for 1035. 
Uh, it does say a price on there, $12.99, but what they do, it's this uh, Boswells & Co, if you're, if you're wanting to know their company. Um, what they do is they actually pick them off the shelf and then they, to dispatch their online orders, so they already already have the price sticker on. Um, but yeah, they were, you know, they're a bad buy in terms of the short term, but in the long term I think they're going to play out okay. Um, but I have actually avoided, the funny thing is, I've actually avoided buying these sets for so long, um, even before I was investing in LEGO, because my gut told me don't invest in them. And, and that is another key thing. If your gut is saying don't invest in something, no matter what the indicators are, sometimes it's good to follow your gut instinct. So, um, yeah, maybe I should have followed my gut on them and just kept clear of them and not invested in them, but still... They'll be okay in the long term, so I'm not too worried on that. Let me put that down there. There we go. Right, and it gave me, a, it gives me a little bit of diversification anyway because I've not got a lot of the superhero stuff in my portfolio, so at least it gives me a bit of diversification, which is always good, um, away from sort of the speed champion stuff. Um, so we've got these winter sets for 0263. I talked about these in another video. These were on 30% discount. I got these £5.94 on Lego Shop at Home. In hindsight, it makes me think, why did I buy them at retail price before Christmas? It, but obviously, I didn't know there was going to be a Lego sale on. So next year, I'm going to be thinking, hang on, I might wait um, to buy these in the sale. If, but, but it's whether I can count on Lego doing a sale. I'm not sure, but yeah, I got five, well, I got five of these, but one is in the other room, so there's only four here, but yeah, I got five of them, quite happy at that price, there's definitely going to be some, some money to be made in the longer term at £5.94 a set, quite happily, so yeah, got those, uh, we're getting pretty big now, uh, we've not got much to go, so it's not, not too bad actually, not too bad, so yeah, that's those, um, let me put that one, oh god, one, one sec. Oh, got a bit of space down here, one sec, there we go. Right, and then, final last few bits really. I got these for retail price, these are retired sets now. 758870, uh, Chevrolet, Corvette, Z06. Uh, yeah, these going for about 20 quid on Amazon already. They are retired, as I say. I think that in the longer term, again, with these sets, we're probably going to be looking about 35, 40 quid. So I'm quite happy on those ones. Nice little investment there. Um, and I got five of those. So I'll see if I can't put a couple down here. See if I can't put a couple there. See if I can't put one there. Right, I think we're going to do this, actually. We've only got one more set to go. So this might actually work out okay. Um, wow, that is a lot of Lego. I don't even want to know how much I've spent on all this. Well, I do, kind of, but I don't at the same time. Um, finally, from the Lego Shop at Home sale, I only grabbed one of these. I should have grabbed more, to be honest. 75882 for uh, Ferrari FXXK uh, and Development, Development Center Speed Champions. 30% uh, off, and I got it for £33.12, if I believe. And it was, I think it's retail about 50 or 55 something like that um but yeah this is going to do great in the in the secondary market i can say that right now it's ferrari it's got the name it's speed champions at the discount i got it at it's a no-brainer for me personally and i think longer term we are going to see some good value on this i think even within a year of retirement this is going to be about 80 quid something like that and even, you know, come two years, it could be close to 100 quid. So I'm quite happy with that. It's a nice little set there. Um, and yeah, that's that one. So Sorry, guys, my memory filled up on my phone. I've just deleted some stuff. And uh, yeah, so what I was saying was that is that. Um, pretty cool haul, pretty big haul. Um, and I am happy with a lot of the stuff in there. As I say, there was one mistake, but that's okay because... The amount, if you knew the amount of sets and the amount of pages and websites and, you know, uh, information I trawl through every single day looking for Lego deals, Lego sets, all that sort of stuff, you will know that it is quite easy to make certain mistakes. But they're not mistakes in the longer term, so that's always good. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Throw a comment down below. What did you like the most out of this haul? What do you think, in your personal opinion, will do the best out of all these sets 
Is it this one that I'm pretty happy with? Or maybe it's the Lego Advent calendars? Or maybe you think it's the Speed Champions Corvette? I don't know. What's your thoughts? What do you like the most? And uh, what are you investing in, obviously? If you'd like to disclose that information, I'd always love to hear it down below and we can have a chat. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.